You have a gift. And if you are ready to step into the next phase of your life where you're ready to grow in that gift, you have to believe it. You have to accept it. You have to stand in it and you have to get ready to take up all of your space. We're not shrinking anymore, y'all. We're about to go next level. Welcome to Looking for My Fit. You may not have everything you like, but I'm here to bring you light. Take a seat, run the ride, and let the method go down tonight. We'll bring the party right to you. If you want to laugh, hear good news, bring your friends, family too. Looking for my fit is what I do. Looking for my fit, looking for my fit, yeah. Looking for my fit, looking for my fit, yeah. Looking for my feet, looking for my feet, yeah. Looking for my feet, looking for my feet, yeah. What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Looking for My Fit podcast. My name is Meek, and if this is your first time here, welcome. I'm so happy that you decided to check out this podcast, and if you are a faithful listener, thank you. Welcome back. I'm so happy to see everybody. Okay, so first things first, in case you didn't hear it on the last episode, we have a whole community, (laughs) y'all. Looking for my community is live and um, I'm just excited with what I can envision or I can see it becoming. Um, I was hesitant to start it just because I didn't even have it all planned. I was like, well, what what am I going to do in the community? (laughs) I just felt like I was supposed to, you know, help create a safe space that we could all get in and share on. But I also was like, but then once the people get there, what do we do? (laughs) And I was just like, listen, you're not going to always have everything figured out. Girl, create it. You know, the um, movie Field of Dreams, if you build it, they will come. I was like, just create it. And the people who are pulled to it, the people who are supposed to be there will come and help to build this community. Initially, I was like, if I can get 20 people. I'm going to be good. And then I think it was last week I shared we had like 84. And today, right now, we're standing at 97. Y'all, we're knocking on the door of 100 people. And they're looking for my fit community. The community that I was like, can we get 20 people? Oh, yeah, we can get that in then some. So I'm super excited about that. Um, And at the end of the show, you'll hear how you can get in that if that is something that you are interested in. But in this community, I've been going live um, and just, you know, posting inspirational things or things that people I see and I'm like oh yeah this would be great post it and this week I went live and one of the things um that I spoke about was taking up all of your space and not shrinking right like I think stepping out fully into who you believe you're supposed to be or into your purpose can feel very scary ask me how I know (laughs) and as y'all know that was the whole premise behind looking for my fit which is to share my journey as I actively pursue purpose and just being transparent and keeping it real as I go along in hopes that someone else will see that it's not perfect and that they're not alone in the thoughts and fears and insecurities that they have and that it will hopefully you know give you that support that you need to keep going so I was talking about listen I cannot shrink anymore I cannot do, I cannot do it. I've done it for entirely too long. That's going to be a whole other episode for next week when I'm going to have a guest on here who's going to talk about that. That's a whole other thing. But um, I saw two to three people, I think it was probably three people, who posted some form of this post that said, I will no longer water myself down to make myself digestible for you. And then my favorite quote with that was, let them choke. <laughs> just, just let them go. You know, it, it's one. Here's what I believe. I believe that part of it is two part. One, um, I'm 42. And, you know, I grew up where people were most definitely. Um, Sportsmanship Award has been around a lot. That's what I was getting ready to say. And I think a lot of times we try to act like this is some new thing. Oh, man, these people get participation awards. Listen, participation awards have been around. 
And the Sportsmanship Award has been around for a long time, too. And a lot of times the Sportsmanship Award is very coveted. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't have good sportsmanship, but I believe that part of what, you know, made you a candidate for the Sportsmanship Award was being humble. And if you're not watching me, I have my air quote fingers because people misuse the word humble and Often people think or try to say that humble means you're really, really good or great at something, but you don't even know that you're great. Yeah, that is not a good thing. Why do you want somebody to not know that they are great? I, I'm utterly confused about that at this age. I do not understand that. Um, so I believe humble is knowing that you're great, celebrating your accomplishments Fully and wholeheartedly without the intention of trying to make someone else feel bad. Now, I say that is not your intention. I'm not saying that people won't feel bad about your accomplishments. But if they do, that is their issue to deal with. I'm just saying, like, as long as you're not like, this is what I did. You suck because you couldn't do it. As long as you're not approaching it like that, where if you're just like, listen, I've been working hard. I have been really putting in the time to get great at this. And y'all, I am killing it. That's humble to me. I'm not now trying to put you down. I'm celebrating me. And there is nothing wrong with that so I think um that is part of what a lot of people are coming up against that's part of it the other thing I think that people are coming up against is a need to be validated by others say that again I think the other thing that people are coming up against is the need to be validated by others and I'm going to share an example. But first, let me tell you where this like I had a, a pivotal moment. Um, I've talked about it before, that program that I was in called Purpose to Platform. And um, Patrice Washington had us doing one of the um, the sessions that we had. It was like, everybody grab your pen. And I need you to boop. And I'm hitting my head if you can't see me. Validate yourself and stop waiting for other people to validate you. So, so if you're looking for validation, go ahead, pick that pen up, boop, validate. Okay, it is so. Validation. And yes, y'all, I took the time to really look it up um, about what valid. Valid is saying that something is true. That's what it means. When you're validating, you're, you're basically trying to find a way to prove that something is true. And so when you are seeking validation from someone else, someone else, what you're essentially saying is, hey, listen, can you tell me if this is my gift? How is somebody else going to tell you what your gift is? You have to know that you have a gift and your confidence in your gift absolutely positively cannot come from the validation of someone else. It cannot. I know someone, um, and, and let me preface this. If you are in my inner circle, inner circle for real, um, my circle is full of people who genuinely love each other enough to support each other when we're right and love each other enough to question each other and check each other if we feel like somebody is in the wrong. So my circle is not full of yes men, yes women. Um, but with this particular situation, this person is not there. We're, we haven't built that type of relationship. Like we like each other. We're absolutely cordial. Um, not cordial, but we're nice to each other, but we're not on that level. Now I say that because if this person was like in a circle, I absolutely would have asked these questions. I do hope that the person is listening. And that they do not know that this is them. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I do hope that whoever needs to hear this will hear it, though. Um, but for me, it's all about when somebody's in your circle, you know whether or not somebody can receive it. And then when you know somebody well enough, you know how to present information in a way that they can receive it. And that's the same for me. You know, if you're not, you know, approaches everything. 
And so I'm not saying like, oh, you know, I have it all figured out and people can just tell me whatever. No, approach matters. And I value the opinion of the people in my circle and they know how to approach things with me. And so because I don't know how, I don't know how it will be received. That is my only reason for why I have not, you know, been fully vocal about this. But here we go. I know someone who is extremely talented in something extremely I've watched this person put in the work to perfect their craft to get better to grow the frustrating thing about watching this journey is they only feel good about their gift when other people tell them that they're good and it is very hard to watch um because I see the gift and all I can think is like, if you would just embrace the fact that this is your God given gift and run with it. If the time that you use trying to get validation could be put into getting even stronger, your possibilities with what you want to do would be endless. It would be endless. I also thought, this is probably how God has felt about me so many times. <laughs> like Jamaica, ah, you have a gift, girl. Please use it. But no, seriously, watching is frustrating because I'm like, listen, the gift is yours. You do not need to hear from other people that you have this gift. It is yours. And truly, how can somebody else tell you that, your gift is indeed true, that it is true that you have the gift, right? It, I mean, like I can give you, I believe that people's opinions and things that they have to say can give you confirmation. I think we all can use confirmation, you know, but the validation of you having the gift has to come from you. You have to know that you have the gift. There's no one who can put their stamp of approval on that. Again, you can get confirmation. So I'm not saying I don't appreciate confirmation. I absolutely do. But here's the difference. So like I realize you, that I have a gift, right? I have accepted that I do have an ability to motivate people. I do have an ability to um, be transparent. I think transparency is a gift. And it's not something I knew I had before. But the more I operate in it, the more I see it, right? I don't need anybody to tell me that. And and. I think um, one of the misconceptions that have been before is like when you talk like that about yourself, that you're being cocky. No, I'm being confident. I don't need you to tell me what my gift is. However, getting confirmation along the way definitely helps to push me further into purpose. And I do believe that God will send confirmations. And, and those are amazing to receive. To me, confirmations are perks and God winks along the journey. So I know what my gift is. I don't need anybody to tell me that's my gift. I do, however, appreciate confirmation that I get. Sometimes I get messages from people about particular episodes um, or I'll talk to people in person who will tell me that they enjoyed it. Um, recently, y'all, I've been, well, first of all, I've been looking at the stats on the podcast. Yeah, we're doing very well. <laughs> I'm super proud of that. Those to me are confirmations, right? So to put it more clearly, the gift is there and I know why I'm, I know what the gift is. I know why I'm doing what I'm doing. I know what I'm hoping the impact will be of what I'm doing. And therefore I continue to press on. Whether I get those messages or comments or see the stats, I'm pushing forward because it's my gift. However, the messages, the conversations, the stats that I'm able to see are confirmation to me that I am moving in the right direction with my gift. And so I think we just have to be mindful of whether or not we are seeking confirmation or seeking validation, because those are two totally different things. Now, let me also point out why you need to be careful about looking for validation for people to tell you stuff you cannot 
feel like you're only good when people are saying things because somebody's not going to always say something, y'all. Here's how I know. I don't always say something <laughs> to other people. There are so many people who I admire, who I am inspired by, who I follow on Instagram, whose posts I see, whose posts I share, whose posts I get inspiration from, who have posts that give me the laugh at just the time I needed it. Y'all, do y'all know how many people I follow? And I see these amazing posts and things. I might click save on it so that I can come back to it. I may not click the heart. And it's not because I'm like, I ain't clicking the heart. I just, I might not be thinking about it. I might be in heavy scroll mode. I'm scrolling, we scrolling, we scrolling. I'm reading. Sometimes I'm saving it. I might screenshot it. I might hit the little, looks like a little paper airplane. I might send it to somebody with the message like, girl, listen to this. And guess what? Those people have no idea the impact that they have on me. But I am so grateful that they continue to show up every day because I pull inspiration from them. And I'm so happy that they don't need me to tap the heart or to leave a comment or to send them a message for them to continue to do it. Now, again, I'm not saying those things are nice. They are. I appreciate the confirmations in the God wings that I get along the way. But even if I don't get those, I have to continue to push forward knowing that I do have a gift and not needing the validation from somebody else to continue to move forward in it. You have a gift, y'all. You know what the gift is. And sometimes when we are scared, that's another part. Look, I thought I had two, yeah, three. Sometimes when you're scared, you keep putting it off until somebody tells you, yes, this is your gift, yes, go for it. Who's going to know better than you what your gift is? Can other people see your gift? Yes, they can. Can people help to give some confirmation that that you are operating in your gift? Yes, they can. But, but can somebody validate your gift? No, they cannot. No, they cannot. You can validate that. God gave you the gift. God gave you the vision. And people are not always going to see what, what it is that you're able to see. Also, let's also keep in mind that sometimes when people are not in a healthy state, mentally or emotionally, people will see your gift and people will try to do what they can to try to blind you from seeing your gift. That's really, really why you have to be careful about seeking validation. Because if somebody is not happy with themselves, if somebody is in an unhealthy state of mind, emotionally and mentally, they can intentionally try to make you think you don't have a gift. And they intentionally try to water you down because they need to feel better about themselves. Ask me how I know. Personally, I will tell you. I'm going to be real. I have some stories I could share. And even though with this podcast, I'm like, I want to be transparent. There are some things I don't talk about, not because I don't want people to know, but just because I don't even want to give certain people the energy. I don't even want to give them, you know, the excitement of being like, see, no, I will say this though. I have straight up come up against some people who not only I could see that there was opposition and they wanted to try to bring me down, but who straight up told me, I'm not even lying to you. Oh, you're not this. Oh, you're not that. Straight up. And so if validation from others is what I have been seeking, this podcast wouldn't even exist. Because everybody is not going to be cheering for you. Everybody is not going to be rooting for you. You know, and don't let that discourage you. You know, don't go into, you know, with the expectation that people are going to come up against you. Just go in aware that it's going to happen. 
not looking for. We ain't expecting. You know, when you expected something, looking for it. I ain't, I ain't looking for you. Well, no, you know, you don't have me in that space. I'm just aware. So when you come popping out, I'm not jumping. I knew you were there. I knew it could happen. And so I'm not thrown off my game when it happens. So if your hesitation to step into whatever it is that you were supposed to be stepping into is because no one has told you, then you're not going to step into your gift. You're not. You, you, you need to tell you, you need to get quiet. You need to spend some time with God and say, God, you know, help me to see how you want me to be used. Help me to see what it is that you want me to do. But what we cannot do is go running to others to have them validated. You are amazing. You are dope. You are unique. And what you have is for you. Okay. And I need you to stand in that. I'm standing in it. Y'all telling you this growth journey has been crazy. And I have, again, most definitely come up against some opposition, but the beauty is being aware and knowing that it will come. And that's half the battle. You know, I think a lot of times we go into stuff and we think that if everybody doesn't completely love you and everybody doesn't completely support you, then it's a sign that you should. Nah, that's not it. So just know everybody won't want to let see your light shine. That's okay. But that's not the focus because guess what? For every one person who doesn't want to see your light shine, there are a thousand more who do. Somebody out there needs you. Someone needs you to take up all of your space completely and totally and they are looking to you I'm telling you you don't know who you can be inspiring you don't know who you could be saving and I mean that sincerely there's somebody who when you fully step in you're going to step in at the right time whatever you say or what you do is going to have perfect timing for whatever situation that they were in and whether you see it or not your gift is operating and it's needed okay so when you start thinking about that I really want you to think about the whole Instagram scenario again I follow a lot of people on Instagram and I scroll a lot and I pull inspiration from so many things and again I may not like it I may not comment I may not say a word but I'm still benefiting from people's gifts and I'm grateful so don't downplay yourself don't water yourself down and most importantly don't seek validation confirmation along the way from god is great but validation from other people is unnecessary we don't need it we do not need it y'all so listen if you are in a space of feeling like you've been you've been stuck there waiting on that validation but you need some support in standing strong in who you are y'all come on over to the community you can jump in i'm telling you we're building this thing from scratch you can be one of the like early people to come into this thing um but just have a safe safe space where you can say y'all like here's the struggle that i'm dealing with so again you're not coming to the group to get the confirmation you're coming to the i mean to get the validation you come in to get the support because seeing other people and knowing that other people are you know in the trenches with you and realizing that you're not alone is half the battle. Isolation is a dungeon. I'm telling you when you feel like it's just you, that, that that's like being in a prison and you're not. And so when you come in and you can express something or you see somebody else's comment or post that somebody may put up, you'll say, Oh, not just me. Yeah. That's freedom. Um, so I'm hoping that you will want to come over also, uh, Moving forward, there will be times when I'm going to do some live podcast recordings when I have guests so that the podcast can be interactive and um, have the first one coming up this week. So I'm really excited about that to see where it can go. And y'all, I don't know how it's going to go, but guess what? I won't know unless I do it. I'm telling you, we taking up all the space. We doing all the things we going for the things that we want to do. So um, again, if you're in that space and you just need a not just if you're in that space and you need to be surrounded by other people who are in that space of wanting to do more, wanting to pursue purpose and wanting to um, 
have dream talk. I love dream talk. I love talking about visions and where I think things can go and how I can grow and having somebody else get excited and share their stories. I love that. And so if that's what you're looking for, come on over and join the community. We're on Facebook at looking it says it's called the looking for my fit community with meek rich i'll have the link in the show notes that you can click on and get to that or you can just simply go to facebook and search looking for my fit community um and request to join and come on in we're gonna have a real good time and it's gonna be a really supportive group it already is and i'm just really excited to see it grow and i hope that you'll come over and be a part of that growth okay all right guys well listen go out into the rest of this week being confident in who you are and validating yourself. So as Patrice said, pick up your pen, bloop, tap yourself on the head, give yourself the validation that you have the gift, and then y'all go take up every bit of your space. God is not small. He is in you. He did not make you to be small. He made you to be large and in charge, and I need you to go step in that fully, okay? All right, guys, until next time, bye. Y'all, I am so excited about this community and I really hope that you'll decide to join. You can join by clicking the link in the show notes, clicking the link in my Instagram profile, or simply by going to Facebook and searching Looking for My Fit Community with Meek Rip. Hope to see you there. Looking for my fit, looking for my fit, yeah. Looking for my fit, looking for my fit, yeah. Looking for my fit, looking for my fit, yeah. Looking for my fit, looking for my fit, yeah.